Pierce. It is time for Learning with Miss Pierce for Wednesday, September 2nd. So today is the second day of the month of September. And for today's read aloud, I have here, When I Get Bigger. And the author, the person that wrote this story, Mercer Mayer. So let's find out what's going on in When I Get Bigger. You might recognize some things that you hope for when you get bigger. When I get bigger. Can you guys see that? When I get bigger, I'll be able to do lots of things. You guys probably feel the same way. When you get bigger, you'll be able to do a lot more things than you do now. I'll go to the corner store by myself. So he's walking to this door by himself. He knows how to get there. He has his own money to buy whatever he needs. He's excited about being able to go to the store when he gets bigger all by himself. And spend my allowance on anything I want. I'll wait until the light is green then I'll look both ways for cars before I cross the street. So he's taking his money and he's using his allowance for anything he wants now that he's bigger. And he's a big boy, so he is looking both ways before he crosses the street. I'll have my own watch and tell everyone what time it is. Look, he has a watch. He knows how to tell time on his watch. Spears has a watch too. I'll go on a bus to grandma and grandpa's. Look at them all dressed nice and neat for a bus ride. He's at the bus station, ready to go to grandma's and grandpa's. I'll go to first grade. So next year, next school year, you, you'll be going in first grade. When I get bigger, I'll have a real leather football and my own radio and a pair of super pro roller skates. Some of you might already have a football. I'll have a two wheeler and a paper route. I'll make lots of money. So when he gets older, he's even gonna have a job delivering papers. And look at riding with no training wheels. I know some of you are still riding those bikes with training wheels, so you gotta work and try to get those training wheels off that bike and ride it with just the two big wheels. At the playground, I'll help the little kids on the swings. Look, he's being a good big, big kid and helping other kids on the swings. I'll pick out my own boots at the shoe store. Those are some pretty cool boots he picked out. I'll make a phone call and dial it myself. Some of you may already know how to do that on the cell phone, know how to make a call. I'll order something from a catalog. A lot of us don't do a lot of ordering from a catalog now. We do a lot of ordering online like Amazon. And it will come in the mail. And there's this package she ordered in the mail. When I get bigger, I'll camp out in the backyard all night long. I like camping. Lucas and I love camping, actually. Being out in nature, in the fresh air, and campfires and s'mores. Best part of camping is s'mores. Or I'll stay up to see the end of the late movie. Even if I get sleepy, I won't go to bed. So when he's bigger, he plans on staying up real late. But right now, I have to go to bed because mom and dad say, I'm not bigger yet. 
So when he gets bigger, he has a lot of plans. Getting a job, making his own money, crossing the street by himself, staying up late. Do those sound like some pretty fun things when you get bigger? So we've been talking about setting this week. And I like this book because there are a few different settings. You remember what the setting is? The setting is where the story happens. So here, this setting, he's going to the store. So the store in this part of his story is the store. check out some other settings oh he was waiting here for the bus to go to grandma and grandpa's so the bus station is the setting for this part of the story here he is in first grade so he's in a what right now what's the setting of this part of the story if he's in first grade and he has a teacher and classmates he's in a school that's the setting of this part of the story see what else oh here he's on the so he's by the swings helping other kids what's that setting the playground remember the setting is the place where the story happens so the setting for this part is the playground oh he was buying some boots where do you buy boots and shoes at a shoe store so the setting for this part is the shoe store if we can find any other new settings oh this one was really cool what's the setting of this part of the story outside in his backyard he's in his backyard here so the place where the camping part of the story happened is the backyard and then here watching a movie late night where do you think he is here what's the setting for this part he's at home He's at home for this part. And when he's going to bed, where is he at there? Probably in his room. So the setting for that part is in his room. So again, the setting of a story is where the story happens. We've also been talking about adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe things. We talked about color adjectives green, red, yellow, pink, orange, blue. All of the colors are adjectives. If you're telling Miss Pierce and describing to Miss Pierce about this circle, you would tell me it was green. And green is the adjective. We also talked about size adjectives. This little rainbow worm, he's long, whereas this little rainbow worm is short. Another size adjective we talked about. Look at the two little cute monkeys. We have a tall monkey and a short monkey. So a couple more size adjectives. Today's adjectives are number adjectives. You've been learning about your numbers this week and you can also describe things by saying how many there are. So let's see what cards I have. So if I was going to describe with an adjective how many turtles I have, how many turtles do you see? There are three. There are three turtles. So the adjective is the number three. What about this one? Got some moo cows. How many do you see? If you're going to tell Miss Pierce how many and describe, how many do you see? One, two, three. There's three cows. So three is the adjective. It's describing how many cows. Oh, my doggies upside down. Look at those cute little doggies. How many do you see if you're gonna describe to Miss Pierce? Count them up. One, two, three, four. There are four doggies. So the adjective is four. You're describing how many dogs there are. How about the little ducks, cute little ducks? How many do you see? I see one, two. So what's the number adjective to describe the ducks? How many? There are two ducks. So if Miss Pierce asked you, how many ducks do you see on the card? You would tell me there are two ducks and the adjective is the number two. Okay, one more. 
Oh, my kitty cat's upside down too. Miss Pierce is asking you to describe how many kitty cats you see. How many do you see? Two. One, two. So the number adjective is two. So adjectives can be colors, they can be sizes, and they can be numbers. It is the words you use to describe something. All right, my darlings, time to go through our alphabets. You know, we gotta do this every day. It's like we get really good at our alphabets. Oh, can you guys see those? Glare my light. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, are you saying them with me? P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All right, my darlings, that's the end of our reading lesson for today. We talked about setting, where the story happens. We talked about our adjectives, size adjectives, color adjectives, and number adjectives, and we went through our alphabet. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Thank you.